Hey Scorpio, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be an energy update, Tarot reading, okay, for all Scorpios. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Scorpio, then this reading is for you, okay? Scorpio, let us go ahead and get into this reading. Ooh, let us see. The devil in reverse, okay? So, freeing yourself from something here or someone, okay? Um, some sort of karmic contract that you were a part of, you're obviously freeing yourself from this here and now, okay? Let us see. Yeah. The challenge here with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles um, is whether or not you want to continue to invest yourself into this relationship, whether or not you want to continue to um, be with this person, because as of right now, you're feeling trapped with the hang one, okay? Let us see here for our Scorpios. Ooh, wow. Okay, so the Sun card is flipping itself in reverse. Okay, so I'm feeling like right now you're not happy, but Spirit is saying you can be here with the Death card, so as long as you do remove yourself from this situation. With the Judgment card here is the underlining, there's like a need for you to um wake up to what it is that you're seeing okay um it's kind of like you know like i just touched my eye like you have something covering your eye or as if your vision is blocked but it's not because you see here exactly what needs to be done so i feel like your focus and your mindset is on um moving forward okay the chariot is a one person seat so obviously you're thinking about yourself, your happiness. This person may still be happiness in the connection, but you're not, okay? We have the two of wands here as the first outcome. So I feel like even though you see this, you know, you're still trying to figure it out based on family, okay? So you might have children with this person, okay? You might be really close with their family or they're really close with your family, okay? We have here, yeah, temperance in reverse. So Spirit is saying, you know, given that you don't make a decision or that you continue to be in limbo, What's going to happen in the near future with the three of wands here is you're going to feel out of alignment. This could be out of alignment with your purpose. Okay. I'm also feeling like when it comes to um, something about a child here. Someone could be finding out that they're expecting again. Okay. So it's like this, the way they're giving it to me. Right now you're like, okay, I'm going to leave. I have to leave this situation. It's toxic. I have to go. Um should i continue to invest myself in this i don't think so because i'm not happy right now i really just need to leave but then you find out that you're with child so you're like oh my god what do i do should i stay now because of this other child or something along those lines so it's like you were already on the verge of leaving before the child now you're questioning it questioning that because of the child okay so let us see final outcome card seven of cups here so you go right back into a state of confusion and you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? So it's like you're torn here. You're, a part of you feels like the Queen of Swords energy where you're like, okay, yes, I'm just going to move forward. I'm not going to allow myself to get caught up in this nonsense. Then the other part of you is like, oh, you know, but what about everything else? What about our children? What about our plans? You know, things like that. All right, so let us see here. All right, Seven of Pentacles in this Knight of Cups. Ooh, yeah fire sign okay Aries Leo Sagittarius should I stay with this person or should I walk away from them okay would I be taking an uncalculated risk okay if I walk away from them let us see but like I said earlier it's something you thought about okay so sun card in reverse death card let us see ace of wands so there's definitely a need for a sudden change the spirit is saying only you can do this only you can make the decision so I feel like I'm talking to somebody where yeah your intuition has already told you what's poking his head out the five of cups that somebody needs to become a thing of the past okay underneath that high priestess the empress so you have a really high frequency but this situation with the devil card has been lowering your vibration okay let us see the chariot here in the mindset wow okay the page of cups so it's like it's right when you go to move forward you find out about a pregnancy or something like that yeah page of pentacles page of cups yes This could also be a message from spirit, some sort of warning. Maybe that's that person's way of keeping you there, okay? Let us see, two of wands. And it's not to say, you know, that that's a thing. Yeah, because see, this fell right out. The eight of wands right here. I mean, the eight of uh, swords, excuse me. This person want, would like to keep you trapped. So they continue to plant seeds. They continue to, you know, here's another one. Here's another one like that. They have no idea, though, that the Eight of Swords is not literally a person being trapped. If at any point in time you decided to wiggle your arms free, you could. 
if at any point in time you decided to take this blindfold off here, you could. Okay, so once again, Spirit wants you to know you are the one who has to make this decision. It's up to you, okay? So let us see here, Two of Wands, Fire Scorpios. Yeah, the Strength card, okay? So it's something about um, healing yourself, healing from this situation, healing from the person. You might need a break. You might need a vacation. You might need a retreat. I say that because it's kind of hard to heal around the person. It's kind of hard to um, break free from the devil if you're sleeping with the devil. You get what I'm saying? So let us see. The temperance energy in reverse. Okay, yeah. Like I said, you'll become out of alignment. Two of Pentacles is all about keeping things balanced. So you become out of alignment when in all actuality, what's supposed to be taking place right now is you moving forward. So you're at this particular moment in your destiny where you're supposed to be detaching from this person right now. Yeah, supposed to be having celebratory energy, but this person is blocking you here, blocking you from moving, okay? Blocking you from taking action forward. So let us see seven of cups for our Scorpios, okay? It came out in reverse the four of swords. Yeah, so you will not have peace until you end this situation. That's the only way you'll move forward. That's what Spirit is saying, okay? Let us get more here for our Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. So when you speak up on the things that mean something to you, okay, this person calls you a drama queen, okay? So they don't even take your feelings and things like that into consideration. Yeah, trigger. I feel like they intentionally trigger you, and then they call you a drama queen. You know what they call that? Gaslighting. We have negotiator, yeah, bargaining, begging. So they sit up there, they tick you off, then they call you a drama queen. Then when you get upset and all that, you start lashing out, you're ready to leave. Then they want to beg for you to stay, okay? Like, it's a very toxic type of situation, okay? To the point where some of you may have even tried to leave this person before, but they popped up wherever you were. And from that, you're like, okay, yeah, they really love me. They're making the effort. When in all actuality, they're just addicted to, you know, what you have or something. Like they just can't get enough of that. Whatever you got, the good stuff, you got the good stuff. All right, this situation is very toxic. Very toxic. And you've been committed to this person for a long time. Some of you might even be married to this person with commitment here. You've been with them for a minute. All right, so if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and love.